Hey, it's your favorite science teacher. You need to, we're going to go over our uh, four types of diffusion worksheet right now. So go over that with me. I'm going to share my screen so that you can go over that with me here. All right. All right. You know what I could do? I could pull it up this way instead. Four types of diffusion. Mm -hmm. Pause the video while I find it. All right, here we go. And so we are going over the answers to this sheet here. Um, what is the first one that you saw on here was that the trans uh, the transfer of the nonpolar molecules. So you should have nonpolar molecules. All right. And so that's what you should have, nonpolar molecules. All right, they pass through what part of the cell membrane? They were passing through the phospholipids. All right, uh, does this use energy? These are all diffusion, so they do not use energy. So no energy is used. All right, how long will this occur? Until equilibrium is achieved, until equilibrium. That means each side is balanced, is achieved. All right, an example of this is carbon dioxide is transferred through this, CO2 and O2 and fatty acids, all right? These are all nonpolar molecules. Uh, these are all nonpolar molecules and they can cross through the cell membrane. Let me show you a picture. I'm going to hold the video for a second. All right. So what this is a um, website showing us about simple diffusion. Simple diffusion means it goes from, again, it's these nonpolar molecules and they go straight through the lipid bilayer. They go through the phospholipids here. All right. And so that's where they go right here. All right. Um, and so this is this is simple diffusion right here, all right? Pass straight through the fossil lipids. They are nonpolar molecules like carbon dioxide, oxygen, and fatty acids. All right, facilitated diffusion, all right? What passes through these? These are ions, all right? Um, they pass through what part of the cell? Through ion channel, ion channel proteins, okay? Um, does this use energy? Uh, it does not use energy. It, is, it does not use energy. And then how long does it occur to? Until equilibrium is achieved. Until equilibrium is achieved. That means it's equal on both sides. It's balanced. And then what are some examples? Sodium. Na, which is with a positive charge. Sodium ions can go through this way. Potassium ions, all right? All right, and then chlorine ions. All right, those are all things that can go through that, those ion channels and they transport by diffusion here. All right, our next one is facilitated diffusion, all right? That is gonna be the facilitated diffusion of sugars and proteins. That's the stuff that goes, we'll go through at larger molecules. All right, then they're gonna go through what we call carrier proteins, carrier proteins. And the carrier proteins, they bind to the molecule that is trying to enter or leave, then it changes shape, then it changes shape and lets the molecule out or in, whatever it is doing, out or in. Okay, 
And it does this by diffusion, go from high concentration to low concentration. Does this require energy? No, these are all passive transport. They're all passive transport. That means it always goes, does not require energy with these here. And when will it stop? Until equilibrium is achieved? Or until the gate is closed? Or until the gate that lets it go through or until the protein is closed until the protein is shut or closed. The gate slash protein is closed. How long until equilibrium? The other one is in, in uh, how long would it occur until equilibrium is achieved or until the protein or gate is closed. Well, let's look at our picture right here to help us see this. All right, here's our picture. All right, uh, facilitate diffusion. All right, you're gonna have these type of, again, it's gonna, it's gonna use a protein. It's not gonna go through the fossil if it's like here. It's gonna go through a protein, all right? And then it requires it. And if it's a ion channel, it's gonna use this right here. Um, if it's, um, Facility will be a carrier protein and it's going to get uh, transport the materials in. All right, uh, back over here. Um, the next one, osmosis. Osmosis is the diffusion of water. It passes through what part of the cell? It passes through the phospholipids and through proteins and through proteins called aquaporins. All right, um, does this use energy? It's diffusion. So the answer is, no, it doesn't really use energy. No, it doesn't. And when will it occur until equilibrium is achieved? That means it's balance on both sides is achieved. All right, an example, water being diffused. Let me pause the video for a second here. All right, we're gonna finish up right here. And so you can kind of see these are the different ones. Uh, what are ions? They're atoms that have gained or lost electrons. Therefore, they have a charge. And some examples are like sodium ions, uh, chlorine ions, calcium ions. And so those are some different ions right there. A nonpolar molecule is a molecule that shares the electrons equally and doesn't have a charge and does not have a charge. And some examples are, examples include like O2, oxygen, carbon dioxide, CO2. And then the other one is like fatty acids. Those are all nonpolar molecules. And so those are our four types of diffusion, which are also four types of passive transport. And so, facilitated diffusion through ion channels, facilitated diffusion through carrier proteins, osmosis, and non diffusion of nonpolar molecules. These are all those. All right, and hope you checked your answer and show me that you did that and you're done.